if you can't tell if you can see me or not. I, I cannot see a thing, girl. If you told me I was black, I would not believe you. Hello, y'all, and welcome back to Reddit! My brand new YouTube series where you guys ask me any question you want to know. From the shadiest of you to the nicest of you, I get everything under the sun. Me and my lovely Patty go through it and we get the best questions to, to answer. I know, this is a lot of look for a little YouTube video, but you know, gotta give the children a little eye candy, girl. Let me help you click. So without further ado, let's start. Question number one. I literally cannot see. <laughs> I'm Grum said, I see you chose not to take a stance on my question if a hot dog is a sandwich. I'm Grum absolutely, a hot dog is a fucking sandwich, bitch. You and this goddamn question. Makes me want to have a hot dog real bad. <laughs> oh, did I just knock it over? It's okay. The Only Alley says, do you have plans to release music? Yes, girl, I do have plans to release some fierce fucking music, but you know, I wanna make sure I go the right route so it's like some fierce, cunty ass shit that you wanna listen to, cool shit that you would bop to in a club and you can really get your life. So I do have music coming, stick around, it's gonna be fierce. <laughs> Burning Kentucky says, on Twitter, you've mentioned that the fans pin too many things on the producers. How railroaded do you feel conversations were? People have this notion that Drag Race is about like producers like giving you a script or like producers feeding you drama or the producers told the vixen to say, no girl, that shit is all organic. Drag queens are narcissistic fucking people, okay? If you go to any drag dressing room across the world, queens are just, ooh, ooh, uh. Drag queens are very territorial. Yeah, so all that stuff is very organic. The drama is fucking real. Maybe it's clinical psych says, what do you consider to be the greatest robbery in Drag Race history? Girl, no fucking brainer. Fucking, um, Shangela not being the top two. I'm not saying she had to win, but Shangela was abs should have absolutely been top two of All Stars 3. Like, hands down. Period. Bird Blue Blurb says, who is your favorite queer icon, real or fictional? Brian Kinney from Queer As Folk. As a little 12, 13 year old, I wanted all of Brian Kinney's dick. I was like, Brian Kinney from Queer as Folk, the, the hot one. Oh, he was so hot. Absolutely. Um, I want to get fucked in a bed with the neon behind the thing. Remember that first time? Jogon Tan says, if you could participate in any other reality competition show, what would it be? Okay, hands down, amazing race. But I want to do it in full fucking drag. It'll be me fucking carrying you everywhere, because right but now- your drag fucks up our time, and we get some more how, how am I dragging to fuck up our time? How are you going to get in drag, like, before you start? I don't know how- Um, when you're sleeping. Out. Hands Up McGee says, are you bringing out a line of designer sponges merchandise anytime soon? Well, that's so funny you ask, girl! If you go to my website, monetexchange.com, you can buy my new sponge pen. It's beautiful. It's fierce, and who knows? I have some pieces of my sponge just laying around my apartment. I, maybe I might have them at DragCon. Would you buy one? Sir Singalot says, since you studied opera, oh, if you had to compare season 10 to an opera, what would it be? Oh, that is easy. Season 10 would be Lucia de la Memoria, girl. Just blood and mad scenes and people screaming and going crazy all day, every day. And Rigoletto, that new Rigoletto. Rigoletto. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Buddha Charm wants to know, who did you grow the closest to during the competition besides Cracker, obviously? First of all, who said I grew close to that bitch? I don't fucking like her. I'm kidding, I love Cracker. Eled61 wants to know, how hung? Well, Eled, I'm about a uh, cross, and uh, it was my is hanging about. I can really get to So altogether, the circumference is about here you go. I'm Yoon Ah says, without revealing too much, what's the elimination order? Honestly, I don't give a fuck. First it was Vanji. Miss Vanji. Then it was Miss Vanji. What is Belair says, what is your favorite SZA song, girl? We know you listen to her. Can I be really honest? I So Patty is really into SZA. I haven't really listened to her. It's very like ethereal, like 
chill, like you like smoke some weed, but her vibe is everything. She's fucking gorgeous. Her looks are to die for, but I've never listened to her music. I am gonna get into it just for you guys, so I promise. Now you guys have been hearing a, a lovely, charming little voice uh, behind the scenes, and I think we're gonna introduce him into the segment because we're gonna do a rapid fire, and he's gonna lead the charge. Patty, come in! Patty, Patty! <laughs> I love my little Patty. Patty gets me right together. Patty curates all these questions, and when we'll, we we'll do it together, ish. And um, Patty, do you have anything you wanna say to the people? Uh, uh, not at the moment. We'll see. Patty. Depends on what they comment. <laughs> <laughs> Patty just got bangs, and you cannot tell him anything, girl. I can't. <laughs> okay, let's do the rapid fire. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. What kind of guys are you into? Employed. What do you think about Mariah Carey being skinny? Fake news. Do you know the Muffin Man? Zerika O'Hara. <laughs> Did you ever get those cookies? <laughs> I know, but I want to. What city or country are you most excited to visit? Australia, the guys are so hot. I agree. <laughs> What's your favorite snack? Oreos. Would you consider sleeping with fans? I'd like to fill out an application, please. I have some fucking lovely girl. I would sleep with anything. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? The Notebook. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck this pussy? Eight inches. Did I read that right? Brandy or Monica? Brandy girl. Would you do a bitch track with Azalea Banks? Absolutely fucking not. And there you have it, guys. That was it! Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank y'all for joining us for another episode of Reddit. If you like this video, comment, like, share, subscribe. If your question was not answered, let me know. Be like, bitch, why you answer my shit? Clearly, I'm desperate to, for your approval. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm gonna exchange. I am Patty. No, you're a legal minor. Am I? Well, you introduced me as Patty. So Did I? now I'm legal minor. Well, I'm gonna. So I'm Patty and my handle is legal minor. <laughs> Follow him if you want to see <laughs> lovely, beautiful redheads. Oh, it actually is at underscore legal minor on Twitter. Thank y'all. See you. Bye. Wait, let's get the face on the way out. Wait, are we turning in? Yeah, let's okay. turn it into a face. Okay. Oh. Oh. Short alert. Redheads. Ha, 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 ha.